Alright. So, this is not going to be fun to make. Whenever it is. So, I got the training wheels for my bike. Because the bike really is too heavy. But I don't want to let it go. I do not like any of the other bikes that are lighter. I feel like I can manage this one. And this whole bike thing has just become such a damn mess. I mean, it's just... I don't know. It, it's it's just been such a fucking nightmare ever since with this, and I'm just I'm just discouraged with myself because yeah, I mean I I could get a lighter bike, but I I really don't want to. I just <clears throat> and yeah, it's my saying, it's my bike. I paid for it, but. I don't know. I just... I just want to be independent. It's it's all I fucking ask anymore. I'm just... I'm always needed on something. Everywhere I turn, all my fucking life, I am always needed on something. It's always so damn specific with me. I mean... Everyone's gotta obey to my freaking rules. They, everyone really does. I mean, I'm not just saying that. It's, it's freaking, it's fucking true. Everyone always needs to abide to my rules. It's bad enough I only do two shifts a week. I, I fucking hate it. I feel useless going to work. I hate the fact that my parents still drive me to work. I'm not going to get my license because I freaking hate how everyone drives. I get pissed off seeing how much dipshits there are when people drive. It, idiot, it idiotics me greatly to an extent to see how everyone's such a freaking dickhead when they drive. It, it blows my mind whatsoever on how... Everyone freaking drives, and I do not want to work towards it because I just forget easily. I don't want to worry about specific numbers or the specific distance of whatever, da 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 da, whatever. And I don't want to worry about freaking insurance, and I don't want to have to, and even though, yeah, I wouldn't have to really cover it, even if it's at fault, whatever, for them. I don't want to worry about expensive shit for someone else's damn fault. I don't want to spend f three, four, whatever the frick, frickin' do gazillion dollars because some dickhead wasn't paying attention too much because they're looking at their damn phone, whatever, da da da. They can't freaking use their damn fucking brains to use their five senses to drive. I don't want to deal with people like that. I shouldn't have to. And... It disgraces me enough that my parents still take me to work. I'm, I'm 24 years old here. And yeah, we all have needs and stuff, but I freaking hate that. I'm always in need of something. It's always been that way all my life. I'm always needed on something here. I always need specific 401k. I always need specific this, specific that. It's always specific shit. It's never... Anything that everyone else gets, it's always specific stuff because the way that I was freaking born. Because of how I, I don't know, grew up in life and everything here too. Yeah, I get it. They're there to help me. They're there to provide for me and everything. But it makes me a fucking burden at the end of the day in society because everyone has to adjust to me. I'm always trying to adjust to them. I'm trying to be like them. But no, everyone's got to always adjust to me. Me. And it discusses me every single fucking time. I, I really do. 
I fucking hate SSI. Their bullshit policy. I don't care if they help me. I don't care if they provide for me or if I sound ungrateful or whatnot. It's the fucking truth. It, it irritates me enough. I'm freaking trained to these dipshits all my life. I mean, you, you can't get far with two grand, okay? You, you freaking can't. And sure, I have Able now, and that does help in everything, but it's only for the needs of things, which I do get. You know, you can't just have anyone just use it for whatever the hell they want, you know, just for money's sake, whatever. I, I really do get it. But still, it just... It annoys me greatly. This is why I have anxiety about financial shit and stuff. Because if I go a bit too far, or if I step a bit over the line, these dipshits come after my fucking mother. Not me, who's my own guardian. Not me, who's trying to be independent on my own and stuff. No, it's going to be my freaking mother they come after. If I step over the line, even with one freaking penny... Over with this SS with social security income, they come after my damn mom, not after me. They always come glue on my mom because apparently my freaking mom, who's in her mid 50s, is apparently responsible for someone like me. I mean, yeah, I get it, but I, I'm high functioning autism and I'm more than damn capable of. Cleaning up my own sins, you know, fixing my own bullshit if I have it. But apparently with the state, they gotta come after my mom if I make a mistake. They don't come at me, they come at my mom. And it just disgusts me super greatly. It it really does. I, I freaking hate it. And this shit just gives me anxiety. And it's so freaking confusing. I don't, I just, I still don't get it. I want to get it, because I really do. I hate that my mom does everything for me, financially mainly. I think on these things, because I think on, what about insurance? What about rent? What about the bills? What about freaking this and that, you know? What if I need to cover my phone bill? What if I need to cover the insurance or whatever, you know, the gas, the internet, fucking gas, freaking this, freaking that, I think on these things, and I want to get off of SSI, because I'm freaking chained to them, my mom may not say it, you guys may not say it, other people may not say it, but I do. I really think that way. It's been this way all my fucking life. I'm like 24 years old. I'm trying to get out in the world. I don't want to get out in the world, sure. I don't want to deal with dipshit people. I don't want to... I really don't want to get out in the world, but you know what? You gotta come out the nest someday. You just gotta. I can't stay here all my life. I can't. I just can't. My dad may say so, my parents may say so, but I just, I just can't. You know? I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm scared to get on the world. I really fucking am. But I can't just stay in a bubble all my fucking life. I know I'm vulnerable, okay? I know I'm a shorty, you know, I, I get it, you know? I know I'm a midget, we joke about it, but... You know, I, I mean, I, I get it. I'm, I'm weak in a lot of sense. I'm vulnerable. I get it. I'm fuck, I'm literally fucking prey in this scenario here, in this world here. You know, I, I freaking get it, alright? I get it. I know that. But that still doesn't mean I can't, at least not try. Because I, I really am. I... We do not want to get out in the world, but, and I'm not going to anytime soon, but it's just, is what it is. And these training wheels, I, I just, I, yeah, I, I really feel like it highlights my freaking disability.
But I just, I just do not want to fucking kill. I mean, I don't give a shit if someone... I mean, it, who cares what people think? I don't want to. I really don't. Because, yeah, if something works for me, it works for me. But, you know what? I've always cared all my life what people think of me. That's why, in the past, I would try to hide that I have autism. I really would try to hide my retarded reading. I would really try to hide that in the past because I, I feel, I still feel retarded in this way. Yeah, we have different skills. We have different status. You know, I get it. We're all not the same. We're all not perfect. We're all not good at something. We're all good at something else that we're not good at. But I just find it embarrassing. I find it shameful. I mean, I mean, I'd like to provide content for that you guys love. But, I mean, there's other YouTubers that can read better, that your folks can understand better, and that, you know, are in a struggle. I mean, you folks may find it cute or adorable, you know, you know, cute or wholesome that I'm trying. I don't. I just see it as another burden. Another mistake here because, yeah, we're different, but I mean, I'm, I'm 24 years old. I should have this shit down by now. I, I really should. I'm not saying that because of, uh, da da da, whatever. No, I, I really should. It's, it's embarrassing to me. It, it really is. I, I freaking, I hate myself for who I am. I hate that I sound my voice this way, you know. I, I hate this. I hate that. I, and I really do hate that I need training wheels. It's not that I'm taking an easy path or anything. You mean, oh, of, course I'm, of course I'm taking the fucking easy path. What am I saying? Of course I am. But, yeah, it's my bike at the end of the day, right? I could do whatever the fuck I want with it. I could freaking demolish it if I really wanted to, you know, in a legal place. I really, you know, as stupid as that sounds, as stupid as training wheels sound, you know, I could do whatever the living fuck I want with it. Yeah, I really could. So... Who gives a shit what my dad says or what others say. But at the end of the day, I just want... I just want my fucking dad to be proud of me. That's that's all I ask. And sure, it be like, who cares what dad my dad says, whatever, because it's my, you know, it's me, whatever, da 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 and that's all that matters. I just want my dad to be fucking proud of me because... This just proves that I'm a shit son. I really am. I mean, I'm not saying that as harsh or because of my mindset. I really fucking am the worst son in the whole family here. The reason I sit on my ass on this chair and I use this computer here for the majority of the time is because I don't like helping my dad. It's not because of how he is or how I is and everything. It's because I feel like it's better if he just does it himself. Because whenever we do something together, he's always trying to teach me something. And whenever he teaches me something, I freaking forget, even when I try. Even when I try fucking hard in my brain to remember the specific tools, the dikes, the freaking lineman pliers, you know, this, that, you know, the wrenches, the drills, you know, because he's a handyman and everything, I forget. And he has to show me again and again and again and again and again and again. 
and I feel like it's irritating. He doesn't see it as a burden because it's pretty much, I mean, I don't know, I'm his son, went out for, and he'll just, you know, repeat it a million times, but I see it as a freaking burden because it's super damn slow with me, you know? The only time I help out with him is when we need to do a two-man job. I help him lift up one side, he does the other. I helped him hold a wall in place or something. It's only when it's absolutely needed for a two-man job. That's it. Anything else he does on his own. And that's the reason why I don't do anything or help out with my dad. Because he always has to, we always have to backtrack and show me. Even a couple times. Even a couple days or a couple weeks or whatever of helping out and stuff. It's always a slow-ass pace with me. And I hate it. It's always quicker when he does it himself without my help. It really is. It's always quicker and faster and better if he just does it himself. Without my help. And... I I don't mean to lay this shit on you folks. I I hate venting. I hate throwing my shit at you guys just for you folks to listen and take in. I I really do. But it's it's how I feel. I mean it's it's my own fucking fault I'm on medication. Fucking these. I had to have a major meltdown one day. I had to let my shit go for one fucking day, one fucking moment, over one fucking reason. And now I'm on 15 milligrams of Alexa Pro. That's what this shit is right here. Alexa Pro. Alexa, you know, whatever. And I'm on multivitamins because I can't eat shit, right? So I need artificial fucking medicine, vitamins because I can't freaking, I can't eat healthy shit. So now I need artificial vitamins. I don't know, folks. I, I really don't fucking know. I think it's clear I need a break, but I hate saying that. I know my dad means well. I know he wants what's best for me. I know he he fears for me. I know he doesn't like... He really does not fucking like the training wheels. I, I don't either. I really don't. But I'm not going to risk myself hurting myself. I'm not going to get another bike. I mean, I, I can't return the fucking thing because it's already damaged. You can't return it when it's fully assembled, you know, already. I'm, I'm not going to let this bike go. I'm, I'm not. I mean, everything's, you know, fine with it and everything. Sure, it's a bit heavy, but you know what? I can manage it. I really can. I spent over 800 fucking dollars on this thing. I'm not going to let this thing go. And... I hate saying that I need a break, folks. I really do, because... Other than all of this shit here, I mainly fine. I should be fine. Cause yeah. You may your folks may say it's not a big deal with this. Just get the training wheels and have your dad suck it up. But it is a big deal to me. Cause I just want my dad to be proud of me. It's all I ask all my fucking life. I want my dad to be proud of me. I know he wants what's best for me, but I just, 
I just feel like time and again, I fucking let him down. This clearly fucking proves it, but... I'm just... I'm just such a burden. I'm a burden at work. Even, yeah, I work my ass off. I work hard. I get my shit done. I push. I really do at work. The fact alone that I only do two shifts and they have to work around me with my two shifts because I can't make a certain amount of money because SSI and little bullshit shenanigans financially and everything. Like, I don't know. I just, I get high anxiety with financial shit. I don't get anxiety about buying this shit. Or this, cause that's dirt cheap. That's that's freaking easy. Of course I can afford for that shit. But I don't but I do get anxiety for an eight hundred dollar fucking bike. And I don't wanna sell it. And I don't wanna get something lighter or, you know, cheaper or whatever. I don't know. I'm just running my ass again. I don't mean for this to be hard to watch or to listen to or anything. I clearly need a break, folks. I I hate saying that. I hate facing that fact. Because I I want to make content for you folks. I I really do. There's no reason why I can't make content, but my well-being is important. At the end of the day, I just... I just want my dad to see me for who I really am. I just... I want him to be proud. I want him to see that I'm trying to be independent on my own. And I really don't think training wheels is a big deal. But I guess it fucking is. I mean, at this point, I don't even care if I get freaking ashamed or molested. I don't care if I... I really don't give a shit if I'm just a highlight prey just going back and forth to work because of fucking training wheels. I, I really don't. I'm just so tired of being needed all the time. Yeah, it helps. Yeah, I'm not trying to sound grateful for the things I have. But you know what? I really kind of am. Because it's always specific with me. It's been that way all my life. And I'm just so fucking tired of it. I just, I sit, I deal with this shit, I deal with being needed, I deal with the specifics, I deal, deal, deal with it, I suck it up, I swallow, and I just, I don't want to anymore, I really don't. I deserve to be independent. You know, I, I deserve to have my voice, I deserve to have my own way. But you can't just run off and you can't just run into the metal like you want to. There's some caution in this wound. You 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 need to take it. I I know my dad just wants what's best for me. He wants to help me. He wants you know, he just he he, he really does. I just, I don't know. Guess I'll just see you folks sooner. Could be freaking right after this video or later. And it could just be, I don't know, never again. Who, who, who knows, but yeah. Again, I'm sorry if this is not, I know this is not an easy video to listen to. It's not easy to watch, but... And again, I I really hate throwing my shit at you guys. Just so you folks can take in and listen. And just so that you can folks know my bullshit problems. 
with my bullshit life and my bullshit status and my bullshit this, bullshit that. But yeah, I, I don't know how long it's going to take. I don't know. I'll just, I'll just see if folks around. <laughs>